Hello, welcome back to Freddy in the Shed. I'm up in the Radio Shack. I'm currently working on another review of one of these little pocket SDR shortwave receivers that are very, very popular and getting quite cheaper. And that's really why I want to make this review because this radio here, which was the cheaper one that I reviewed a few weeks ago, that's been very, very popular on the channel. Got this in from Banggood and it cost £89, which I thought was pretty reasonable. It's about what I'd expect to pay. But they've reduced this even more. I was just doing some research today and I noticed on the website this is now down to £75.12 plus 79p post and packaging to the UK. And if you're a new user on Banggood, when you register your address, they'll take off another £3 as well. So it brings it down to £72, which is quite remarkable. Now, I'm not associated with Banggood in any way. I don't get any commission. I don't work for Banggood. They send me in things every now and then to review, which is kind of them. I just thought I'd pass it on. Now, when I did the review on this, I was a little bit harsh on it about the fact that uh, when you want to go through the menu system, you have to hold your finger down on this encoder. And I'm sticking by that. I still don't think that's the best way. And it doesn't have on-screen clicky tuning like the Malahite radios behind me. So it still hasn't got the best operating system but a couple of you bought this radio after watching my video and you've said they've said you know what Fred for what it is I can live with it and it's perfectly fine just for checking the bands to see what's open and that's what I've been using this radio for down in the shack I've had this connected to my Antron 99 outside antenna and then when I just pop into the uh, shed shack switch it on and just have a little flick around the bands to see if the bands are open so I've got it set on the uh, tuning frequency there and that's pretty much all I do. I just have a little flick around and everything else is um, pretty much preset. I haven't gone into any menu and I think if you use it like that, yeah, it's, it's quite not a bad little radio and it's certainly um, very, very sensitive. I think they could, could do better, of course, but 72 quid. I mean, that's a bit of a bargain, really. It has got a nice screen and the battery as well. I, I've had this all week in the shack. I've only recharged it up once and I've still got 3.89 volts battery and they said about eight or nine hours operating time and I didn't really believe it but yeah I think that might be true. So I just thought I'd let you know because I know that was, noticed this video has been popular, the review on that video so uh, I just thought I'd let you know £75 and with the discount if you're new to Banggood £72 plus 79p post and packaging is pretty good isn't it anyway gonna get on now with um doing the uh, profit review just thought i passed that on to you hope you're all keeping well there's the thumbs up from fred in the shed if you just get a second just hit me a thumbs up down below i would appreciate it but of course as always look after each other stay safe and i'll catch you on the next one cheers guys <laughs>